Good morning, tech fans. It's that time once again to announce a brand new NVIDIA card. Woo! That's right, you've all been waiting for it. The brand new RTX 3070. Now, I think this card is probably going to be probably one of the biggest sellers for NVIDIA, being that it's really going to be geared towards 1440 and 1080 gaming, and I'm sure the price is going to be much lower than the other cards that are out there, making it very, very uh, appealing. So let's jump in right now. Let's take the first look at the card, talk about the stuff that comes in the box. I've got all the tests coming a little bit later on, but for right now, let's just see what comes in the box and what are some of the basic things about this brand new card from NVIDIA. Let's talk tech. Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10, and Windows keys are under $15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. So like most unboxings or first looks, we'll start off with, well, checking out the box. The front of the box is very, very simple. It's very plain. It just has the nomenclature of the card, RTX 3070. On the back of the box, there are a few fun facts. It tells you how long the card is. It tells you that the card, you know, is going to be, you know, uh, 242 by 112 millimeters. It needs a two slot case to be able to fit into there. And it's also going to require a minimum of a 650 watt power supply to power up everything inside the system. Now, when you also open up the box, you'll see that there's a little compartment. When you open this up, here you will see the cable. Now, one thing interesting, even though this car does have the 12 power, you know, power supply on the top that are connection rather, you'll see that half of them are actually blocked out. So only six of them are actually working. So you're gonna to need to take your eight pin power connector, plug into there and then plug their six pin into the top of the card. A little strange, I know, but what the heck. Beyond that, you just get a user's manual and a little thing that gives you a warning, which you should probably read just because you should read, it's a warning there. Now. Taking a look at the card itself, the card looks very, very nice. It's very clean. I like it. It's really simplistic. The fan design is really nice. Um, I like the very fact that the card doesn't have anything that uh, you know is very obtrusive. Like the entire card is smooth to the touch. If you held the card in your hand and just spun it around your hand, the entire card is really nice and smooth. Gone are the days of a back plate, you don't see that anymore. Now you're just seeing a, a, a little another fan exhaust there, as well as, you know, once again, the card's name. Now the two fans that are on top of the card, these fans are actually designed to run really quiet and provide as much airflow against the card as possible. So I don't even think when the card's in the system and running, you're gonna get any more of that, you know, lawnmower type effect. The card should run very, very quiet, even at full blast. Now the card itself actually is a pretty decent sized card. 242 millimeters long, 118 millimeters high, and it's gonna require a two slot design, so make sure that your case will do that. Also, like I said before, you will need to have at least a single eight pin power connector in your case to power the card. Um, as far as taking a look at the rear IO goes, it's pretty much the same as every card that we've seen out there in a long time. You guys can see it. It's the, basically the same thing that we've been seeing. Nothing really different in that whatsoever. Now, if we're going to take a comparison and compare this card just as far as the specs go between the 2070 and the 3070, let's real quick take a look and see what those differences are. Now the differences between the RTX 2070 and the RTX 3070 Founders Edition, they're actually quite significant. As far as the SMs go, on the 2070, we see 36. On the 3070, we see 46. On CUDA cores, it's almost double. On the 2070, we see 2,304, and on the 3070, we see 5,888. So on the RTX 2070, only 2,304, all the way up to 5,888 on the 3070. That's quite a bit. 
Now, the Tensor Cores are now third generation. We all know in the first time they were second generation. The 2070 had 288, but the 3070 only has 184, but they're third generation. So they've gone down, but they perform better. Now, as far as RT cores, the 2070 had 36 first generation cores and the 3070 has 46 second generation cores. Now, as far as the texture units go, the 2070 had 144 and the 3070 has 184. The ROPs go from 64 to 96. The GPU base clock speed on the 2070 was 1710 megahertz and it's 1725 on the 3070. As far as the memory clock goes, they are both identical at 7,000 megahertz. And as far as memory goes, it's the same with eight gigabytes of GDDR6. The memory interface is also the same at 256 bit, as well as the memory bandwidth going from 448 gigabytes to guess what, 448 gigabytes. Now, as far as the TGP goes, the TGP on the 2070 is 185 watts and the TGP on the RTX 3070 is 220 watts. One thing that I think is really probably going to be true in this card more than any other is that the jump from Maxwell to Pascal was like a really giant leap, but I think the leap between Pascal and Ampere, especially on this card, is really going to be you know shown in its fullest form, especially at this price point. Now, one thing to take note of, all of these Founders Edition video cards have a three-year warranty on them. So that's a good thing. I think within three years, they're probably gonna have a new card, so you're probably good to go. All right, so that wraps it up. Now, the card does look pretty nice, right? I think it's a pretty cool looking card. It's very clean and elegant. I'm still not really quite sure how I'm feeling about the power connector being on the very top of the card. I guess as you know, more and more builds come out, we'll see how that actually does. But for right now, just taking a look out of the box, I'd have to say that's a caveat for me because I'm thinking that, you know, a lot of cases it's gonna smack up right against the outside of the case. And if you've got a glass window, you know, I guess that, you know, you can find a case and vertically mount it and that'll probably look really cool. But if you're just mounting it the normal way, I think that a lot of people are going to run into the problem of their wire actually hitting that and plus just being out there with a bunch of wires we all know how that is anyways i'll have a link down below so you guys can check out more information about this card i honestly think though this is going to be probably the really big seller for nvidia being that you know the other cards even though people are going to say you know some people will say hey 599 is you know affordable card but i don't think that a lot of people still feel that way around the world so this card will be a lower price card it will fit directly into the market in a nice niche. And uh, I think that people are going to be pretty happy with it. You guys will see our results and our scores here just a little bit later. So stay tuned to here on Tech of Tomorrow and we'll have all the rest of the goodies that you guys are waiting for. Really, we really wanna see right now, how does this card do against the 2070 Super, right? We got the 2070 Super, we've got the RTX 3070 gotta have a battle and we gotta see those scores and those are coming up i'm elric you guys been watching tech of tomorrow thanks a lot hey if you like what you see on the channel you guys can hit that sub button but make sure you hit the notifications thing up there if you don't hit the little bell you'll never know that i am here also if you like to support the channel and spend any money try amazon prime for free for 30 days it's really worth it to check out all the movies and just try some stuff for free on there i'll have a link down below so Peace out. Lots more stuff coming on this RTX 3070. So just stay tuned and uh, we'll have it here for you. Peace.